The Y Reef project is a MacArthur Foundation funded project to explore the interaction between how kids learn in the real world and the virtual world and also to educate kids about coral reef biology and conservation biology. One of the main things is that it's based on scientific research. We do a lot of scientific research on coral reefs. We do expeditionary work to places like Papua New Guinea and Palau and the Solomon Islands. Uh, also some work in Belize and the Bahamas. And what we do when we do field work is we do field collections and, and biodiversity surveys of fishes and invertebrates and things like that to get a handle on what uh, lives on coral reefs and how they're interacting with their environment. We also see human impacts on reefs, so many of the reefs that we visit are quite healthy, but many of them have human impacts from overfishing or from bleaching or uh, sedimentation effects. Uh, y Reef was designed by the Biodiversity Synthesis Center at the Field Museum and the Department of Education. And we've tried to connect Y Reef really closely to that research. So it's based on measurements of live populations of organisms, so how fishes school and swim, and what the food webs are on reefs. So we're looking at some of the species, the 50 species that we chose for Y Reef, are arranged according to our understanding of food webs. And that connection between Y Reef and research, I think, is really important. The main activity is counting and identification. So they get in the reef, um, they get their scuba tank and their little reef coder. Um, and what they do is they click on the species. And then you get directed to your reef journal after you have five unknown organisms. And then you play the identification game. The kids find it fun and engaging. We got over 140,000 unique players on Y Reef in the first year. And there are a number of things that I think the kids find engaging about it. Because it's based on science, they're learning about biology, they're able to hop out to the Encyclopedia of Life, get more information about coral reefs. There are many serious threats impacting coral reefs, uh, overfishing, coral bleaching, sedimentation. And one of the things that we do with the reef is we perturb it, we damage the reef with an overfishing event. And I think that combination of it being based on science and, and that the kids are able to interact with each other and to take civic action to protect the reef is one of the reasons why they find it compelling. We knew that we were going to perturb the reef, we were going to damage the reef, and we knew that we needed the kids to get involved in order to rehabilitate the reef. We just started putting this boat across the water, taking out fish and slowly taking species out and making the reef sicker and sicker. This is a way for the kids to actually take civic action and try to increase the health of the reef. Um, they can write a reef management plan. They can buy and make and wear face parts, so like a Save the Reef t-shirt. Um, they can donate clams um, to support the reef management plan and they can write articles to the Wyville Times. So this is more something that we view as a free time or after school um, activity. And uh, because of that, it's actually, that's one of the things that's been so surprising to us. I mean, this is something that kids are finding fun, they're finding um, socially rewarding. Some of the petitions were just amazingly well crafted and thought out. I mean, especially for this is your free time. This isn't school, this isn't a project, there's no grade associated with this. You don't have to do this. So you're doing this out of enjoyment. We chose Wyville specifically because it does have a history of civic action and civic engagement by its users. Um, but we really didn't anticipate the um, emotional attachment. We didn't anticipate um, the level of engagement and the, the civic involvement that people were going to have with the project. The millions of clams that have been donated um, to save the reef have been really shocking for us. For the kids in Wyville, this is their currency. So the kids are actually investing this much into the reef. Even before it started, they were all aware that coral reefs are in danger and there's a problem with them. And you could tell that they were very frustrated that they, can't, they couldn't actually do anything to help the reefs. And this, these Save the Reef activities are really nice ways to show how people are helping reefs. It's kind of given the kids some hope um, that you know, we people can do good, they can change things, they can take action for the better.